Good afternoon. Paul Andrigo here, realestatepodcastshow.com. I'm doing my rosedale.realestatepodcastshow.com update for the new year. Um, the uh, wrap-up's been done for 2020, and uh, I just wanted to let you guys know there are over 230 plus sold stories for Rosedale for the year. And the average sold price in Rosedale is $2.3 million at the end of 2020. So for those of you who are in the neighborhood, for those of you who are uh, moving in or moving out, obviously finding out the solds and the stories behind them, I believe, is the only true way to know um, what's going on in that area. Rather than just looking at the stats, which of course uh, you can get from anywhere, uh, it helps to have someone who is actually involved in the community as someone who's actually doing tours of the area on a regular basis. I'm just standing outside of my newest listing um, in the neighborhood right now, one of the most premier uh, apartments, uh, the, the top penthouse level of Yorkville, uh, of, of Rosedale, um, and I've had units in Yorkville as well in the annex, um, but it's a fantastic incredible space three bedrooms uh, listed under two million which makes it really really uh, a great property considering the average home prices in this area are again 2.3 million uh, and there's been some as many as 10 million so the best thing you should do is make sure you head over to rosedale.realestatepodcastshow.com uh, and get signed up for my alerts uh, for my new listings for my existing properties uh, and find out how those sold stories affect your property because each one of them does and I just want to make sure that you guys feel the same way uh, and I've got the, um, uh, the, the the red ribbon um, house on um, on Dale which is in Rosedale when you join me for a tour you'll you'll love seeing it it's uh, one of the uh, favorite parts for me that I look at when I'm in the area and right down the door right down the street from there is Morley Callahan's former resident residents and there's so many more added things that you should know uh, again and if you don't know your own home history uh, you can also get that through my site or go directly to homehistory.realestatepodcastshow.com thanks for tuning in